Hey, how is it going? So I said that I would make a separate video comparing both the 2.3 block to the new 2.0 based 2.3 engine here. So this is that video. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to gloss over any differences that I can see and any differences that I actually know about between these two. Let's go ahead, start taking a peek at both of these. We're gonna go ahead and start on this end, which will be the back side of each block here. And there are some differences that are noticeable right away, but they're very small differences. For example, on the 2.3, you have a plug here that can be removed with, uh, you know, a bit where over here that same plug not so much looks like it's pressed in there um it is over here that's the same you can see it's there and there's the same but yeah that that one is different like i said that's just a small not even important difference but the overall shape of the back of the blocks are pretty identical except you can see something right here see how the two three block is cast it and you can almost see the outline right here of uh, the cylinder. Well, this is the, you know, the outside part of the open deck. So this is probably, I don't know, not even a quarter inch thick maybe, but over on the two O block, look how that, it, there is so much more material. This is pretty much flat right here. Over here, there is probably, a quarter of an inch. I mean, you go back here, there's like a full inch worth of material back here that is still here on the two wheel block. So there is a lot more material around each of the cylinders. And that holds true to the side. So let's go ahead and look at this side. So this would be the passenger side. We take a look and we have all this ribbing. All right, we have room here, 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 and then we have this here and look how thick all of this is this is like down here is pretty thick this one's thick this one's a little bit thinner these two are really thick we come over to the two three and we'll see we have very similar ribbing right so we have ribbing here ribbing here ribbing here they're all in the same places but these are so much thinner now i will say and something you can easily see is that there seems to be more material on the side of the two, three blocks, you know, but if you look, there's really, I mean, like the thinnest part right there, right there, the right here. I mean, that's probably around a quarter of inch material, or if you look over here, it looks thinner, but then you look at the top down and, you know, it's not, it's definitely a solid quarter inch or more. And that means, you know, there's just a lot more material. You notice that on a 2 block, you have this here. You don't have that on a 2-3. From my understanding, that is a oil passage that does not get used on uh, a 2-3 setup. I don't think there's actually a uh, opening in the head for that. Just look how much less material there is all over the 2-3 block compared to the 2 block, which is why 2 blocks just are known to handle the power. There's just simply more material in the casting, which is also another uh, difference I can point out. The 2 block has this rough exterior casting, so whatever, I don't know whatever this is made of. And then the 2 three block, well, and I should be mentioning that, you know, of course, this is a 2 three RS block. So um, different material than just a standard two, three. But you know, this material is like a very smooth casting, however this is, and this isn't polished or anything. This is the you know exterior of it, but it's very smooth compared to this one. So it's just a different uh, blend of metal, obviously. And we do know that, that is fact. And of course, one of the biggest differences that we all do know, which is why we all go with these blocks is this here, all this beautiful surface area for sealing. Yeah, maybe it don't cool that well, but I don't give a crap because I don't want coolant going where it doesn't belong, which happens all too often on this kind of setup. Better here, more material there. I've kind of been surprised by is that you think this block would weigh more. And believe it or not, from just 
I don't have a way, I don't have anything to really um, weigh these, but just like, you know, just moving it around, and mind you, this still has rods and pistons. This one doesn't. The crankshaft is still in this one, but no rods and pistons. Yet, this feels almost the same weight, if not maybe slightly heavier than this one. So I don't understand why that is, considering that visibly there is less material. Now, the only thing I can think of is that this particular alloy of metal that the RS block is casted of, maybe it's like denser from a molecular standpoint, maybe that's why. And maybe that's why the user end up a little bit stronger version of Open Deck 2.3. To me, that kind of says a lot about the strength of the 2.0 design, because if, if it's stronger with a weaker alloy, then it means the design is superior. So we're gonna come over to the front side here. And once again, we don't see too many uh, differences, you know, your water pump goes here, same over here. Uh, now, now actually, I'm sorry, there is a difference. To a uh, three block, the water pump housing is actually removable. Both here, one over here, this comes off. To O block, the water pump housing is actually uh, casted in. As you can see, this is all one piece here. Yeah, that actually is different. I didn't even realize that. It's interesting to find that out. Um, other than that, we come over here, two, three, kind of looks all the same. It's got a couple different things going on. Like here is another one of those plugs that can be removed, where over here it's not. And uh, you know, this passage here, this is for the turbo uh, feed. You know, this is a different shape than this. This actually is more open, I believe. I think this is, it seems more open, which may help with oil flow. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Oil pump area here are the same on both. They both use the same oil pump. And all the mounting is the same on both. It's just they're done differently in how they're in here. So on the two, three block, there's just these individual little studs. I know there's probably a better word for these. I can't think of it. But as you see, they just kind of stick out and whatnot. And then they have the holes tapped into them to mount on the front accessories in the, the cover. But over on the 2.0 block, all of this is solid where all these mounting points are. Um, it's There's just more material yet again. So that is interesting. Now someone actually thought this was interesting about the 2.3 crankshaft versus a 2.0 crankshaft. Now, I don't know on a factory 2.0 that the crank is keyed. I can't imagine they are. And uh, this is just something you get when you order an aftermarket piece. So yeah, the factory two, three crankshaft, which that that does have, uh, you can see the factory two, three crankshaft is not keyed, which is kind of crazy if you think about it, because the, you know, sprocket here only is held on there by pressure pushing up against it. You can see how the gear is serrated or it's got like these grooves in it, which when the balancer pushes up against it, you know, it pushes against that, it creates that friction that locks it together. So if any of that comes loose, man, this thing is going for a ride. This is just gonna spin. And if this spins free of the crankshaft, it is going to come out of time. And then these are interference engines. Don't need to explain the rest. Bad things happen, is what it is, I think. But I did notice something uh, really different about these two blocks, which actually makes me question if I can reuse a part I already had. And I don't think I can. I'm thinking I'll have to get something new, which hopefully it isn't that expensive. And that uh, is right here. So this is where the oil filter housing goes on to. And uh, you see on the two O block, you got inlet, outlet, or whatever. I don't know which one's which, honestly. Over here on a two, three block, it's a bit different. And you got, first of all, not circle ports, these are square, which I'm sure this flows a lot better oil. So that actually kind of makes me wonder. Um, it looks like the two, three, or at least this RS two, three block is designed to flow a crap ton more oil. And then you have this little center section here, which I'm not sure what it is and what it does, but it's there. Whereas over here, it's just two little holes and that is it. So 
Not sure what's going to happen there, but that is the one of the biggest differences that I can see between these two. And honestly, I would say that that's actually a downfall, a downside on the two O blocks then because I don't know. You tell me. I just it just looks like the two three is made to flow a crap ton more oil. And I would imagine that port's the same on any 2.3, not just the RS version. So, I don't know. Um, but I don't even think I can reuse that. I'm gonna have to get a housing specifically for a 2.0 block. Maybe one of you guys have any input on that who's done this kind of build before, because I don't know. And my understanding, everything that goes on that goes on this, but that doesn't look like it's gonna work. <laughs> uh, We'll see, I'll figure that part out. Otherwise, mostly everything on this side is pretty much identical to the two, three. It's just as, you know, the same thing we've seen over and over, there's just more material that's left onto this casting here. Where over here, a lot of material is just like not there. I'm sure that saves costs because it's less material that to pour into each mold for these castings. But, you know, <laughs> it's pretty crazy to see the side-by-side -side differences in these and the actual differences in the casting and the thickness of the material. So, like I said, there's a reason why builders go with these. Like, there's many success stories of people uh, running the Open Deck 2.3s and the RS versions and going like six, 700 horsepower, and they hold up. They seem to hold up pretty good. And then I've heard of people filling in um, all of this, because I know there's there's services that do that. They fill everything in, and then they drill uh, your coolant passages. So that's an option too. And then there's also using um, cast iron sleeves. Sleeving these RS blocks are also a an option I've heard can hold a lot of power as well. Which maybe one day, if I ever repurpose this block. I may look into that, who knows? But for now, this is a tried and true combination, so I can't go wrong here. I know this will work and I know it will work well. It's just crazy to see, you know, these differences between these two, and yet they're so similar. So, you know, obviously it is plain and simple just why builders go with the 2.0 block on high horsepower builds. I think the 2.0 block you know, just overall is a superior design. The only thing I question now, as comparing to the 2.3 block, is, you know, the oil flow situation. So obviously oil is important, but I'm sure it probably flows the same. I don't, I don't know if it really makes that much of a difference in the sizing of those ports. Either way, it's cool to see all of that, and I'm just so excited to get this put together and put in the car here, so. That will be happening hopefully very shortly. But I think that's gonna wrap it up here for this little comparison between the two blocks. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know if you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep a look out for our next Cars Creative video.